Hi everyone, I have literally just received this parcel in the post and it's very exciting, it makes an interesting noise. I thought I would just open it on camera and uh, and show you what it is. That's good fun. So let's carefully open the pack. There you are, look. Ooh. Ooh, how very interesting. I'm just looking. There's no gift receipt in the um, box. So I don't know who it's come from. So thank you, lovely person, if you're watching. Now, these have been on my Amazon wish list. So that's really exciting. And uh, we've got, um, these are the, I've never used Crayola. I probably have as a child because in the UK we tend to have these for children but I was really excited by these this sort of skin tone set because I haven't really got I'm not really confident in doing skin tones and uh, and so I popped it on my wish list and here it is so that's really exciting so uh, we've got the names actually it's got a little bit squished but I'm sure it's fine on the side of here um, I don't know if that's in focus for you, um, but uh, let's pop them out anyway. Let's just uh, try and get them out one minute. There we go. So there they all are in the box. Let's just tip them out. As I said, I don't know what to expect with Crayola. I don't know whether... Oh, they have the names on them. Oh, that's really useful. So here we are. Oops. They want to roll away. So we can see there are various pinks and browns which are very pretty. I noticed that some of the barrels are quite closely coloured. Look at those two. are very similarly coloured but the pencils are quite different. So that's okay. We may have to go with the name because that's a very light almond and that's an extra light almond. So that's interesting. But um, <clears throat> let's have a go at playing with them because I could hear what they were. Um, I picked a picture and I thought I would just, I just grabbed a matchstick mouse. I realised that he isn't human, he doesn't have skin. I really want to just play with them first before I try and, you know, attempt anything too um, skin-like, if that makes any sense. So have a go with him and then we'll, um, and then I'll try them out on my own. With a, with a picture of a face or something and then I might uh, be brave enough to show you how I've sort of done it. So let's go in a little closer to Matchstick Mouse and just sort of get him there. That's it. Now what we've got actually got is a tree and we could use some of the darker colours for the tree. So we have um, this one to me looks like the darkest. It is called um, Deepest Almond and you can see it's really quite dark and uh, maybe the edge of the tree we could do in the dark. I'm thinking actually this edge, although we don't want too much near the black or else it might disappear, so I'm going to use it quite lightly. Now having never used Crayola before, I don't know what to expect, um, there's quite a fair bit of vibrancy. I realise this is the darkest pencil, but I sort of thought for a budget set they might be quite hard, and yes they aren't soft like Prismas or anything, but I'm not pressing that hard and I'm getting a nice amount of colour down. So that's fun. So that's uh, impressive. I know some people really rave about the Crayolas. Um, the sort of more general sets. So uh, I was sort of interested to see how they would go down. I'm going to put a little bit top and bottom of this. I tend to do that with branches to sort of try and make them look a bit more shapely. So that is the the darkest, I think. This one is called Extra Deep Rose and to me that looks like quite a dark brown. So I'm going to try it um, next. I'm going to try it on its own here just so you can see the colour. You can see it's slightly lighter than this dark one and then we'll mix them up. I'll see how well they blend. They layer on top of each other nicely. I'm suspecting they're not, you can't push them around the page like a Prisma, but uh, that's not something I'm used to doing anyway. As you know, I uh, 
I'm more used to my harder and polys and things like that. So there's that one. I shall just take it up. It's a very pretty tone, this colour, actually. Really nice. Oh, there's the train going by. Now I'm expecting possibly a doorbell to ring or a phone to ring, so I may get disturbed. Now these two are so similar, I'm not sure which is the darkest. Let's look at the name. We've got an extra deep almond and a very deep almond. Actually, the extra deep is darker, so we'll go for that one. Next, so extra deep almond. It's quite nice having the names on them. Some for some reason I didn't think they would. So uh, that's uh, that's rather good. This one seems fairly similar to the others. The other two. Let's do a bit on its own. It is a little bit lighter. I can see that now. What I will do is probably swatch these in my um, swatch book. I'm not sure if there's a section for Crayolas in there. Um, I haven't looked, having not had any, I haven't really clicked. So um, I have a, I'll go and have a look later and that will help me a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here we have the very deep almond, which I think will be a little bit lighter, despite being called very deep. going to make that do on these. The colour looks quite even throughout really where we've blended it together. I can't see that the edge is necessarily that much darker. It is a little bit. Maybe the colours are quite close. That's okay. I just have to know next time not to pick ones that were so close. It's not what I would normally do anyway. I would normally um, do a sort of dark mid light but I thought I would just do the similar ones there we go now I'm just trying to pick we have a deep almond we have a extra deep golden and a medium deep golden I think we'll go for the almond hang on that one. What's what's that? That's the deep golden, and that one is the medium golden. Okay, we'll do the golden ones on a different thing. I know we used a rose in this section, which maybe we shouldn't have done. But anyway, <clears throat> I think I'm going to use the deep almond and just finish off this centre part. I'm going to do it on its own in the middle first, so you can see what it's like. It's quite pretty, isn't it? I'm liking these shades. And I'm just going to try and blend it all. And I think I'm quite pleased with that. As I say, considering that these are quite a budget pencil, a very, you know, like a student grade pencil, so not even a budget artist pencil. I'm liking that. But yeah, happy with that. That's good. I'm going to sort out all the goldens now and just pop them on the book. Um, that's, oh, I've just found a medium almond. So that's an almond. <laughs> We've got a rose, a very light rose, a light rose, a medium deep rose, a very deep rose, a very light golden, so that's a golden. A light medium golden, a medium golden, I don't know if I'm quite picking them in, medium rose, we've got a deep golden, I think that goes in there, a very light almond, and the extra light almond, uh, that's the very deep rose, medium deep almond, Very deep rose, deep rose, light almond, light golden, and light medium almond. Right, so those are the roses there, and we did use one here, didn't we? 
uh, I'm just trying to find it. Extra deep rows. We've got the extra deep rows. The deep rows, the very deep rows. I'm assuming it was there. Then the light medium rows. The medium deep rows. The light rows and the very light rows. I think those are the rose ones in order. It looks right, doesn't it? And these are the almonds. No, these are the golden. I'm going to move those away. I'm actually going to finish off using the almonds because we started this with almonds. I know we went a bit wrong. I went a bit wrong with the rose, but that's okay. So now what I'm going to just put these in. So we've got medium deep, a medium. I think that'll probably be next. A light medium, a light, a very light, and an extra light. So there are the remaining almonds ones. So they look slightly pinky. Um, should we do mouse with those? So if we use the really light ones for his, if we use these two for his tummy, these for his tail and, and ears, and these for his longer fur, maybe that will work. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'll just move those aside. So this is the darkest one. So this is going to be for the darkest areas of the fur. So it's called the medium deep almond. So we're going to go sort of where it would be more shadowy like that I'm just gonna lighten it as we go up Oops. and the same under here I just realized I've got loads more tree or is that the ground here it could be tree I think it's actually the ground I am going to not complete this picture in this video by the way I'm gonna eat, make the leaves um, with some green in because although this is the Matchstick Mouse Autumn book there if I do everything in browns and pinks I think it's it might not quite look right but we'll see how we go I might decide to a skin tone mouse picture and leaves I'm just not really sure how to do the leaves because I've used the sort of almonds on the well, I might use the goldens on the leaves actually thinking about it so I'm just fading that up a bit because I'm thinking it might be darker at the bottom. But on the, this arm, I think I'll put a little bit each side. And we've got this bit under here. Maybe it would be darker here where the hat is sort of shadowing it a bit. Like that. Um, is that the back of the ear? I think it is. I'm just going to do that in this one. Like that. Now I'm going to use the other colour I said I would use for fur, which is the medium almond. And we'll just take that colour up. You can see it's a bit lighter. It's a bit pinker too. I think it'll be okay though. That's a little bit scratchy there. But I shall just colour over it and it'll be fine. You have to remember that this paper in this book isn't the best quality. So that may have some bearing on the how the pencils perform. But, um, whoops, those are running away. That's not the fault of the paper, naughty pencils. But can you see how here we've got a little line of pigment? I don't know how well you can see. That happens to me with Prismacolors. I've had it happen, I've seen it happen with a Caran d'Ache, um, a Caran d'Ache luminance. So it isn't necessarily reflective of the pencils. You know, it happens. Um, sometimes you can, sh it's just where the pigment hasn't been properly mixed in. And sometimes you can just sharpen past that bit and uh, it's fine. I'm just not worrying about it. I mean, it's fur, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. So that's fine. So there we go. Let me see if I'm happy with, yeah, that's those two. Now I'm trying to keep my pencils in separate piles. Let's put those there. Okay, now we are going to try, let's do these two for the um, hands, tail, feet, nose. So I'm going to actually start with the lighter one. This is the light almond and I'm just going to do a layer down on all of these areas. Oh, it's quite pale this one. I'm going to have to work a few layers but carefully because I don't want to um, use up all the um, tooth in the paper. 
and there's this, this thin paper to be a bit careful but it's okay being pale because he would be pale this you know I usually do it quite pale these parts of the mouse and if you think about if this is being used for skin tone which is obviously the intention um, there are some very pale skins which would need a very light colour. <laughs> Naughty pencil. They're not very well behaved, are they? I think I should have to put a complaint in. <laughs> right. Now we have the light medium almonds. It's a little bit darker and I'm going to use it to add a few bits of sort of shadow. Now I don't know how well that is showing up on camera. I can see a slight difference that it is pretty pale. I'm going to put a bit here. You might see it more here because I'm going to layer it up a bit more because I do want more of a contrast. You should be able to see that and at the bottom of the nose. Oops. There we go. And then we have the um, tummy. And I like to do, usually like to do the tummy in a lighter colour fur. So we we'll use these two. These are going to be really pale though. The very light almond and the extra light almond. We we'll use the extra light first um, and then put the other one on top. Wow, that is very pale. But I can see it going down. Um, if you were using a dark paper, it might show up better. Um, but it's the sort of colour that you might just use to blend or to just gently layer, you know, or if you'd done a little bit that was too dark, you might want to pop it on top to sort of fade a bit. Or as I say, for a really, really light skin. There we go. It's quite light, isn't it? I don't know if you can even really see. This is the slightly darker one called Very Light Almond. I'm going to put a little bit at the bottom and up the side here. And I do, it's very close in colour. Again, I think, you know, I can see it working well for, uh, I'm just going to do some stripey bits because it's fur. I don't think they're really going to show up though. Um, I can see it being used for sort of blending and very pale, pale skin. There we go. Now, we've got our golden set to try out, which are here. Oops, let's pop those up there for a minute. Um... Now what should we do with our golden set? I'm thinking maybe um, the ground and then the leaves. So I'm going to take the darkest one, I think, to do some of the ground. So this is extra deep golden. And I might just sort of put it around here in these areas that look like they might be dirt um, or soil. Um, it's not really a soily colour, but it'll work. It might look a bit more like tree. Um, I always think that um, soil needs a bit of grey and a bit of black, but uh, it's uh, it's a nice colour. You can see it going down. I'm not pressing terribly hard. Um, yeah, let's carry it on through. So I just want these sort of it to look like it's shadowy with the leaves casting shadows on the ground. Um, if I had greens, I would do this in my darkest green, maybe an olive green, you know, brownie green or something. But I don't, so I'm just improvising. Mm, I think I'm going to leave that there. And then go to our next darkest, whoops, next darkest colour. This is the deep golden. And I'm going to do the other base colour. That's very pretty, isn't it? So this is the um, yeah the the rest of the any sort of undefined leaves if that makes any sense. So these are really defined the whole leaf, but this is just a sort of vague bit. So that's what I'm colouring with this one. And you can see how nicely it's going down. I I think it's working really well. This is an Amazon UK printed book, I think. Yeah. So the paper is fairly smooth, 
it's not as toothy as the US book, um, but yeah, it's, I, I'm going to do that bit too. I, I'm liking the way it's laying down on this paper, and um, it's it's very um, personal. Some people really dislike the Amazon paper, whatever pencils they try, but um, I'm I'm going to do that bit. Um, but I'm um, I'm finding certain pencils work better, particularly on the US one. Um, but uh, yeah, these are good, I think. Okay, that's our next one. Where are we going now? Now we have a medium deep golden. It's getting really, really pretty. And I'm thinking any shadowy bits of blue, so under here, might be a bit darker. I know it's not really dark, like um, a shadow would be, but um, it's our next darkest, so it's just how I'm going to use it. Now some of the, it's got a few lines here, I'm just going to sort of put a bit on there, like that, I don't know. I'm just winging it really. Now this is the medium golden, so I had to stop and read it. Um, <clears throat> I think we'll just extend out the dark colour a little bit. It's really warm. Well, I was just thinking at the beginning of the video I covered up my address on the label but later I know I sort of revealed it um, I don't mind I know someone's pointed out to me before that sometimes I show my address on camera when I'm unboxing my because I am a business and I send out a newsletter I have to legally have my business address on my newsletters and that's my business address this is the light medium golden so um, yes it's um, in America, I know a lot of people have post office boxes and things. We don't do that in the UK very much. We just use our business address. So that's what I have used. Um, and uh, it's, so because it's already in the public domain, I don't feel like I need to hide it. I'm very conscious if there is a return address, like that was an Amazon return address, so it didn't matter. But if there's a if someone sent me something and they put their return address on it, I would never show that to camera. You know, I realise that that isn't uh, not certainly not acceptable. But anyway, I'm liking this colour, and I'm actually liking this sort of sepia look to this picture. I think it's really fun. I'm definitely thinking, yeah, I'm going to finish this with these colours. I think it'll look great. Gonna put a little bit here. I'm just being a bit random now. Um, we've got two more shades left. Um, I put a bit on this one. I'm just doing a little bit on everything now, just so that we can. Whoops! Don't want to run away. Hold on there. <laughs> Am I the only one person that talks their pencils? Probably. <laughs> just extending the colour out a bit, putting a little bit at the bottom of this one just here and there, random bits. You can get to see what the colour looks like on its own then. There we go. Now I have the light and the very light, so we'll go for the light next. And uh, I'm just gonna, I haven't, I'm sort of given up with showing you the names because I think it's really small and uh, it's gonna catch the light and be very hard to read. But I might extend this, the ones on the ground, I might extend the colour fully. This one looks like it's got a little nibble out of it. That would probably be darker under there, but we're just, we're just playing. So, uh, it's fun. I thought these colours would work well in the autumn book. Um, I half guessed what this was when it came. Which is a bit weird, I know. It's because um, it was on my wish list, and just from the sound of it, 
obviously I can identify a pencil brand by its sound. No, um, as I say, because it was on my wish list. And the size as well. It wasn't what I was expecting. Someone had told me they had sent me something. And uh, it wasn't what I had thought they were going to send me. So that was um, a rather lovely surprise. This is the very light golden. I'm not sure whether this is really going to show up very much, but I'm going to just have a go with it anyway. Because um, the, it is actually showing up a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm actually putting a few more layers down, though, to try to give it um, a bit more clout, as it were. Oh, I can smell wet cement. It's lovely. <laughs> My kitchen has got some wet cement in it. Um, but um, we are at a point where we're having an almost two-week break. Actually, just over a two-week break from anyone being in. We've still got a usable kitchen. It's uh, half of it's missing, but the, bit, the, the functioning bits are still functioning, if you know what I mean. So uh, that's good. And... Uh, so we're still able to use it, which is nice, and have a little bit of a break. Now, I have got quite a lot of pencils and only one hat left to do. But I think we might, um, oh, excuse me, use them um, carefully. So here they are. These are the rose pencils. So this is the extra deep rose, which we actually used on the tree. I'm just going to use a light layer here because that's going to be in the shadow and then we have the very deep rose actually that might have been the one we used before I'm not sure and I'm just going to go over the top of that one with it to make it really quite dark which I think is nice and I'm going to do a little bit down here and a little bit here oh I just realised my son's just started streaming I can hear him chattering then we have got the deep rays, so it's still quite dark. It's hard to imagine that someone would have skin this sort of dark pink colour. I need to be a bit more observant, I think, because I don't really look at faces. It's weird. It sounds a bit weird, but because I can't visualise faces in my head. Medium deep rose. I find it hard to visualise anything in my head, but faces are the worst. If I try and imagine a person now, any person, all I can see is like a circle. I can't see any features in their face whatsoever. I can recognise people when I see them, which is good, but I can't see them in my head now. So it makes it tricky to do um, things like skin, but... There's always photos and pictures to copy, so I don't need to be able to do it myself. Um, light medium rose. This looks pretty. You know, I don't need to be able to visualise, because I don't have to colour from memory. So that will be useful. I'm getting quite pale, but I think it's looking nice. And I learnt recently, light rose, that matchstick mouse is a girl, um, which is interesting. So I need to remember to refer to her as her. She, um, on um, Morgan O'Brien's website, he has a little bit of information about her. This is the very light rose, and we shall just finish off the tip of the hat. I can see there's colour going down. It isn't quite as pale as, as this one was. There we go. So there are all our, so these are the rows. I just pop them back on the book for you to see. So there are the rose colours that we used for the hat. Let's come out a bit for you. There we go, so we have those. So I think they're in, I assume they're in eights. One, two, three, four, five, so that's seven. So no, these are the goldens. There's seven of those, like that, and then these are the almonds. One, two, three, four. We've got ten of those. So 
we've got seven, seven, and ten, which is interesting. Let's, um, let's oh, hang on. Let's line them up. There we go. So there are the um, there are the pencils on our picture. I think it looks really quite different and fun in those really pale colours. Um, some of the leaves, and I haven't coloured that leaf at all, have I? No, I'm just going to grab a colour and do it because it looks a little bit odd. <laughs> I don't even know if that's the colour I did the leaves, I don't think it is, but never mind. But there they are, and I'm actually really impressed. Um, they aren't as soft as some pencils, obviously some of them don't really show up brilliantly well but if you want you if you want the full range of tones you need to have some that are really pale because that's just the way it is but I'm just liking them in that picture to be honest but I'm looking forward to playing with them a bit more and uh, and you know um, seeing what I can do with them really so I will be daring and I will go into my Hannah Carlson and I will find a face picture and I will colour it in and share it with you at some point. Um, it will take me a while, but uh, I shall do that. Um, I'm in the middle of something else at the minute and if I'm trying to organise kitchen work, even though I haven't got people in, I've still got stuff I've got to organise. So it's a little tricky, but we'll see how we get on. But um, there we go. And on the side of the pack, it has the names on each side. So it tells you them all which I was trying to show you earlier. So you've got extra light almond, very light almond, very light rose, light golden, very light almond, light medium golden, light rose, light almond, light medium rose, light medium almond, medium deep rose and medium almond. So those are the paler ones. And then we've got the darker ones on this side. So you've got medium golden, medium deep almond, deep rose, very deep rose, deep almond, medium deep golden, deep golden, very deep almond, extra deep almond, extra deep rose, extra deep golden and deepest almond. They haven't really um, gone too much effort with their names but I think it allows you to identify the different groups of colours which could be really helpful but anyway I'm looking forward to having more fun so thank you to the lovely person who sent me these. I have a feeling I might know who you are. I shall contact you and check. But if I am wrong and I haven't contacted you, if you could contact me, whoever it is, and uh, I can send you a little message and say thank you because I like to do that. But just in case you don't get in touch, thank you so much. Um, these are fab. I'm really excited about using them some more. And uh, it's just a lovely, lovely surprise. So thank you. Um, and thank you everyone for watching. I hope that was fun and interesting. I know it's a little bit different. And uh, yeah, but uh, but as I say, fun. And I uh, hope everyone has a, enjoys the rest of their day. And happy colouring.